Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this post, I would want to talk about the memorial ceremony that was held for Bishop Sedwick Daniels. Bishop Sedwick Daniels was widely recognized as one of the most famous and respected figures in the African-American community. He passed away recently. On August 16, 1959, Bishop Sedwick Daniels was born in Milwaukee, which is located in the state of Wisconsin, in the United States of America. He was the second youngest of eight children and came from a Christian household that had strong religious values. He grew up as the second youngest child. After that, he embarked on a successful career in urban planning and later became a member of the board of directors for the Catholic Central City Schools. In addition to this, he worked together on a number of initiatives with Antonio Riley and the Wisconsin Housing and Economic Development Authority. These projects included the building of a housing complex for senior citizens, as well as the promotion of home ownership in Milwaukee. In the year 2001, Bishop Gilbert E. Patterson and the Church of God in Christ General Board elevated Daniels to the position of bishop. Daniels has since served in that capacity. This promotion has been awarded to Daniels. Daniels' area of jurisdiction encompassed more than 105 institutional Church of God congregations dispersed across Wisconsin and northern Illinois. During the period that Daniels was serving as bishop, his own church, Holy Redeemer Institutional Church of God in Christ, expanded into a multi-million dollar organization that met the needs of the Milwaukee community in terms of both education and social service. In addition to this, he became a close friend of Reverend Jess Lewis Jackson, Sr., and he was a supporter of a large number of causes, including civil rights, social justice, and faith-based programs. He was also an activist. In 2018, Daniels was shot in the face and as a result underwent a remarkable transformation in his physical appearance. This transformation made him renowned and brought him a lot of attention. After suffering an injury, he underwent a number of surgeries and spent some time in rehabilitation before making a comeback to acting with a new look and a different perspective. In addition, he demonstrated his versatility by playing characters from a variety of genres, such as a troubled teenager in the film Euphoria, a lovely hotel clerk in the film The White Lotus, a charming but dangerous stalker in the film You, and a charismatic but troubled rock singer in the film Wireless 3. His performances in these films showcased his ability to adapt to a wide range of roles. On April 5, 2023, after a romance that lasted for two years, Daniels ultimately wed hairstylist Chris Appleton. The couple had been dating for the previous two years. They welcomed their little bundle of joy into the world on June 23, 2023, and that same day they became parents for the very first time. Their marriage did not last very long due to the fact that on November 13, 2023, after they had been married for only two months, they declared that they were going to obtain a divorce. However, their union did not endure very long. On November 13, 2023, when Daniels was 64 years old, he passed away as a result of a sickness for which the specific reason for his disease was never identified. The news of his dying shocked the entire world, and he left behind a body of work that continues to inspire and uplift tens of millions of people even after his passing. His funeral was placed at Holy Redeemer Church in Milwaukee on November 15, 2023. Holy Redeemer Church was located in the city of Milwaukee. The burial service was attended by each and every one of the hundreds of mourners who had gathered to pay their respects to the esteemed pastor and leader who had died away. Those in attendance at the memorial ceremony were treated to reminiscences and experiences relating to the deceased by members of his family, as well as acquaintances, co-workers, and congregations of the church. In addition, the event featured performances by his church choir, as well as a gospel band. The burial of Daniel's bones at Mount Olivet Cemetery in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, brought an end to the funeral services that had been held previously. On his burial, a large cross bearing the inscription, Bishop Sedwick Daniels, a man of faith and love, was put. When it came time for his family to say their final goodbyes to him, they released white balloons into the air as a symbol of their affection for him. Daniels was a one-of-a-kind individual in every conceivable respect. 